After David died, there was an outcry from his friends and family. David's psychologist did not directly cause David's death, but his family felt that he was partly responsible. Because Dr. Money continued to pursue his theory, even in the face of convincing evidence that the gender assignment had not worked, they felt that he had traumatized their son in childhood to the point where he became suicidal as an adult. I would like to say to Dr. Money, I would like to ask him if he could be man enough to admit to the public and to even to himself that he made a mistake. He was trying to make history and, and uh, it wasn't working. As it became clear that it wasn't working, he could not let go of the case. It was too beautiful for him to uh, let go of it. And I think that that was unethical behavior on his part. Dr. Money was asked to participate in this program, but declined. His former student, Richard Green, argues that the doctor did the best he could in an era when we knew much less than we know now. With the benefit of hindsight, based on what we knew at the time about how you become male or female or boy or a girl, with the advantage of hindsight, knowing the difficulties, to say the least, of creating a penis surgically, the decision that John Money made at the time was the correct one, and I would have made the same one at that time. What we know now is that Dr. Money's theory that it's possible to raise a boy as a girl does not hold true. Nature, as far as gender identity is concerned, cannot be overridden by nurture. David Reimer's story is a cautionary tale, a warning of what can happen when science pursues a theory 